Let's take a look at our cover scroll um, widget. Now we use it quite effectively on the 123 Muse website. Let's take a look at that. If we go to 123muse.com, you can see that we have this nice homepage image here that scales t with the browser. However, when we scroll, the image is of a particular size um, and um, doesn't take up the whole screen. So the cover only activates when you're at the top of the page and once you start scrolling, it disappears. Let's put that onto a page. Let's see how easy that is to use. So first off, I'm going to put a rectangle on the page and I'm going to set it to 100% width and let's set it to, just to prove the point, 500. Then I'm going to set the background, I'm going to add an image and let's choose this one. Here we go. And we'll scale to fill. Now, without cover, let's see what happens. If I preview this in the browser, we get 100% width, but not 100% height. So let's see what happens with cover. I'm going to drag the widget onto the page. And we're using a new um, widget UI here so that you can pinpoint what you're targeting here. Um, and it's just as a visual reference so that you can see that this is applying to this. Let's take a look at what the style is applied to. So it's scale this. So in our graphics panel, in our graphic styles, let's scale this. Click OK. And now let's preview. So now we have a nicely scaled image on the page. But when we scroll down, we have our content. So this is a really nice, useful widget for scrolling sites uh, where you want a full page, uh, full screen uh, image. And you also want to have content below when you scroll. The scroll, uh, co the scroll cover widget also works on the galleries, the slideshows within Muse as well and you'll see in our video um, in our video series on scroll if you take a look at the scroll motion gallery you'll see that in action there.